hello everyone welcome back to another video how you are doing today hope you're doing great thank you so much guys for always coming back to watch my video thank you for your support thank you for subscribing to this channel and god bless you all i'm sorry guys i've not been posting video frequently that's because i've been busy extremely busy so by his grace i will try as much as i can to be posting always so in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to make this off shoulder gun this is very beautiful i'm using the same fabric but this is golden brown and the one in the picture is a red uh, mixed with gold so the dress is of three sections the upper part has the off shoulder the middle part and the lower part the lower part is full flat i'll be adding this flowers to it here i have net here the sleeve here looks like a layer sleeve but i will be making different sleeve i'll be making i might be making puffy sleeve or smoky sleeve so that's what we're going to be making today. So these are the items we need for this tutorial. This is my interfacing. There are five yards of fabric here. So this is my lining. I'll be using this for the sleeve. And this will be for the nail. So we'll go ahead and fold the fabric. We'll start with the upper part. That's the off shoulder. So guys, I'm going to be drafting the front panel on the drafting paper. Then I'll transfer it to my fabric. Because it's an off shoulder dress, I'll be minusing 4 inches for the off shoulder. The half length is 18 inches, so I added about 1 inches to it for sewing allowance for the upper part and the down part. This is my starting line. So let's assume the paper is folded into two. So I will divide the bust point by two. The bust point I'm working with is 8 inches, divided by two is 4 inches. So I will add half inch to it, that's 4.5 inches. I'll mark it all the way to the damp part. 4.5 inches. Yeah, for this upper part here, I will mark 5.5 inches. So I will first connect this line. And connect it like so to the 5.5 inches. I'll place the post measurement, the under post, and the waist measurement. The post measurement is 10 and a half inches. Under post is 14 and a half inches. And the waist is 18 inches. I'll be adding an extra one inch to it. I'm just going to make a line here. Is that you place your shoulder measurement divided by two here, or you measure from here to here and place it here. For this, I'll measure from here to here. I have about 13 inches divided by two is six and a half inches. Plus half inch sewing allowance, that's seven inches. I'll mark seven inches here. That's the shoulder line. So I will place my tape over here, still minus 4 inches, in order to get the armco measurement. So the round armco measurement is 17 inches, divided by 2 is 8.5. I'll mark 8.5 here. So this is now the chest line. I'll still make a line here. So this is the bust line, this is the chest line, this is the under bust, here is the waist line. So we go to the under bust measurement. I'll mark one inch on this side and 1.5 inches on this side. So this is the waistline. I'll do the same thing. I'll take one inch here and the 1.5 inches on this side. I'll make a straight line here. So we come down one inch from the bust line. And connect this to this, connect this to this. I will connect it like so. I will connect this side also. So I will go to this side and place the same thing. I mark one inch here, I will mark one inch here, and then mark 1.5 inches on this side. 1 inch and 1.5 inches so I will still go up by 1 inch right from the bust line here 
and connect it. I will connect this to one inch above the bust line. And connect this side also. So we'll go ahead and place the measurement. So I will start with this side. Remember I added the 2.5 inches here. I will still place the 2.5 inches back. So I'll mark the 2.5 inches here. I will place my bust measurement right on the chest line here. The bust measurement is 41 inches divided by 4 is 10 and a quarter. So this is 10 and a quarter. And check what I have here. I have about a half inch space here. So I'll mark the half inch. Then add my sewing allowance. I will add 2.5 inches for sewing allowance. So we go to the underboss line. You will check if the the waistline is bigger than the underboss measurement. You use the waistline for the underboss measurement and the waistline. The underboss is 36 inches and the waistline is 37 inches. So I rather use 37 inches. I will divide the 37 inches by four. 37 divided by four is nine and a quarter. I'll mark nine and a quarter here. So I will add this 2.5 inches back. And add 2.5 inches for sewing allowance. I will do the same thing for the waistline. So I will connect the lines. I will make a curve here. This is my ample measurement. I will cover it like so. I will quickly cut it out and then place it on my fabric before we cut out the back one. So I will be cutting out the neckline after joining the fabric. So this is the front part. This neckline here, I will be going down, but I will be doing that after joining the fabric. We fold my fabric into two, transfer this to the fabric. I will fold it into two like so. Place this one here. And then place this one here. So we cut it out. So we'll be cutting out the back side. My fabric is folded into two. I'll be cutting it direct on the fabric. This is my starting line. So I'll mark the same thing I mark here, here. I mark 6.5 inches plus half inch sewing allowance, that's 7 inches. I'll mark it right from here. This space here is my zipper allowance, it's 1.5 inches. So my fabric is folded into two. So I'll mark 7 inches here. So I'll place my tape hole like so. So I'll mark out the armhole, 8.5 inches. That's the chest line. And this is the waist line. I'll make a line here. So I will place the bust measurement. The bust circumference is 10 and half inches plus 2.5 inches for sewing allowance. A quarter of the waist measurement is nine and a quarter. I will add one inch for that. I'll be adding that to the back side and 2.5 inches for sewing allowance. So I will connect it. And here, I will mark the arm hole here. So the dart is uh, 4.5 inches. I'll mark the dart here. I will mark the dart up to where the chest line is. So I will take it all the way to the waistline. So this is the waistline. So I will impute the dart measurement. I will take half inch on this side and half inch on the other side. Mark it like so. Connect it to the chest line. Do the same thing for this side. 
I'll go ahead and cut it out. I'll still be cutting out the neckline this time. I'll make a notch here to know where the dust is. So for the back side, I will go inside by half inch. I'll connect it like so. I'll cut the half inch out. This is the front, this is the back. I will use this to cut out the lining. So we'll be cutting out the second section, that's the middle part. The full length is 62 inches. The upper part is 18 inches. The middle part is 21 inches. And the lower part is 23 inches. So I'll be adding sewing allowance in between them. So we'll go ahead and cut out the mid part. I have 22 inches here plus sewing allowance. And I have 1.5 inches for zipper allowance here. This is the back side and this is the front side. They are both folded into two. A quarter of the waist measurement is nine and a quarter. I will add one inch for that and 1.5 inches for sewing allowance. That's 2.5 inches. From waist to hip is eight and a half inches. Right on this hip line, I will place the hip measurement. A quarter of the hip measurement is 11.5 inches plus 1.5 inches sewing allowance. So I will check what I have here, a minus 1.5 inches from here and place it here. I have 13 and a half inches here. I'll minus 1.5 inches. So I'll place 12 inches here. So I'll go ahead and connect it from the waist to the hip. And from the hip, I'll bring it down to the knee, knee length. So this second part is about three inches above the knee length. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. I'll mark 4.5 inches for that. And the length is uh, 5 inches. So I'll take half inch on this side. Connect it like so. I will also make a notch here as the dark line. I will still cut out lining for this. And I will join the upper part to the middle part first before cutting out the lower part. So I will go ahead and uh, add my interfacing on this. I will add my interfacing on the back and the front side. And also cut out the lining. We finish cutting out everything. I fuse it with a very light interfacing. Both the lining and the normal fabric. I did the same thing for the back side. I cut out the, the bust part already. I iron the bust part to it. I will explain to you how I managed to cut out the bust part. Remember the bust pan is 8 inches. Divided by 2 is 4 inches plus half inch swing allowance. So right from here, I measure 4.5 inches. So this is 4.5 inches. So I have to connect it to this under bust. So from here, I still take 4.5 inches, then connect it also to here. For this middle part, I went down three inches from the upside here. The wording of part is up to under bust measurement. I'll be cutting out the neckline later on. So what we are going to do is to join these together. I'll use half inch because that's a sewing allowance. To stitch it, I'll stitch it right from the bottom to the upper part. I'll do the same thing for this side and the lining. And for the back side, I will use the lining to turn the back side. Right side facing right side. I will stitch it here, the upper part, the side, then turn it from the lower part here. I will still use the lining to turn the skirt. 
so guys before joining the back side you make sure we cut make sure you cut the neckline so we join them together we we'll join them together like so okay, so i'll come down 1.5 inches on the neckline i'll we'll connect it like so and cut it out you can cut any shape you like if you like you can make it So I'll go ahead and they join them together now. So guys, I finished uh, joining the front and the back together. After stitching them, I turn it inside out and I've also stitched my dart. The dart is up to the chest line. This is the back side. So this is the lining for the front part. And this is the normal fabric. Before we join them together, I will cut out the neckline. I will place it like so, right side facing right side. Turn it like so. So for the front neckline, I will go down by 2 inches. I will mark my 2 inches here. And connect it like so. For now you can make a sweetheart neckline. I will go ahead and cut it out. So this is what we have. Before joining them together, make sure you notch this part here. Open it up and uh, give it a good press. See this side also. Then you will join them together, right side facing right side. Then we use our finish to stitch the here, the arm hole, and the side. So I finish uh, joining them together. I will make a notch around. I will notch it round and turn it inside out. So next is for us to join these to the middle part. This is the middle part. So I also add line into it. I will join them together. If you are making the dart, you make sure this dart and the upper dart are lined together. I stitch my dart also. So go ahead and join them together. I will use half inch to join them at the waistline here. I will do the same thing for the back side. So I'll turn it like so. So I'll use half inch to join them together here. After I've done that, I will attach my zip here. I will use my zip allowance to attach my zip. So guys, this is the back side. I finished joining the upper part and the down part together. And I've also attached my zip. This is the front. So we are done with the first and the second one. We'll be cutting out the lower part now. So to cut out the lower part, I will measure here. I have 23 inches here. 23 inches for the front and 23 inches for the back. That's 46 inches. Because I'm cutting out full flare, I will divide the 46 inches by 6.28. 46 divided by 6.28 is 7.3. So let me just round it to 7.5. Seven and a half inches. I'll be making the damp part 26 inches plus sewing so allowance. 26 plus 7.5 is 33.5. The length of this fabric is 60 inches. When you fold it into two, you will have 30 inches. So it's not up to that 33 inches. What I did was to cut out from the other side. So I added to this side the wideness. I added about 10 inches here. So I joined them together here. In order to achieve that 33 inches, I cut out from the other side, joined them together here. Instead of 60 inches length, I have 70 inches length here. So what we are going to do is to fold the fabric into two. To know the fabric you're going to cut out, I added the radius and the length together. That is 33.5 inches. So I'll fold the fabric into two. You see how wide it is? And fold it into two and fold it like this again. We're cutting our full flare. So 
this is 34 inches here the length here is 34 inches yeah 34 inches on this side also we'll cut out the radius first before cutting out the normal fabric the radius is seven and a half inches right from here i'll mark seven and a half inches around seven and a half inches from here i will take the length 26 inches mark it around also So this is 26 inches length. I'll go ahead and cut it out and use this to cut out the lining. I'll be adding lining to the lower part as well. So I'm cutting it out. Mm -hmm. So I will use this to cut out the lining. So I've cut out the lining as well. This is the lining. I'll split this side open and see split this side open. I will do the same thing for the lining because I'll be attaching half flare to the front and half flare to the back. So what I'm going to do is to take one of these and one of the lining. Join them at the bottom part here. So right side of the lining is facing right side of the fabric. So I will join them at the bottom part here with half inch. I will do the same thing for the other side. So this is the front part. And this is the net I have. I have double net here. So I'll make sure I attach it here. I'll place it like so. And uh, I'll just measure it like so. Make sure it fall up to here. I think I'll be cutting a little bit out because I'll be adding this to the tip of the net. So what I'm going to do is to make a gather here. I'll spread it. I'll gather it right from the waistline here or up to one inch below the hip line. I will stitch it here. Um, I finish attaching this to it, and I also join the the lower part. That's the flare with the lining. So this is the net. Make it like so. Trim out the one that is not equal. So now, by the time I attach the fabric to it. Everything will be equal. So you take it like so. Here. Bring it down. I will be attaching about uh, 4 inches to the tip here. I will first of all hem it twice on this side. Hem this side also. So I will open up the net. And then uh, stitch it to the tip. So what we are going to do now is to join this to the lower part. I will face them against each other, right side facing right side. I'll use our face to join them together. I'll do the same thing for the back side. So I'll finish joining the lower part to the upper part. Yeah. So I've also attached the net. So this is where I attach it, just at the tip of the net. By the time I hold it here, it will fall like so. So what we are going to do is to attach the this design here. We're going to be attaching this here. I will be using a needle to tag it here. I have about um, two and a half inches here. I will just tack it here to look at the back side. 
I've attached it to the back side. So after attaching it, I will join the front and the back together. Right side is your right side. And make sure this one is inside. So I'll measure half of the bust measurement here. Half of the bust measurement is 20 and a half inches. So I'll go to the upper part here. This is the back side. Mark 20 and a half inches. Yeah, mark one and a half space on this side, one and a half space on this side. Just make a line there. Make a line here. I'll go to the waistline and place half of the waist measurement. I have 21 inches here. So I'll just place it like so. This is 18 and a half inches. This is the hip line. I'll mark 23 inches for the hip measurement. This is 23 inches. So I will stitch it right from the post here all the way to the lower part. So this is where I'll be joining it. I'll make sure this place is a little bit curvy. That's the few inches above the knee measurement. Just curve it to how tight you want it. I will stitch it all the way to the lower part. I will do the same thing for the other side. So guys, um, um, I finished joining the front and the back together. This is a false and touch here. So you just arrange it very well. Take it to the upper part here. Use a needle to stitch it to the front part here. By the time after stitching it to fold and like so. The way I normally do it, I'll allow my customer to wear it first. But I'll use a needle to tack it while the dress is on her body. So that I'll know the exact place I will stitch it. So next is for us to attach your sleeve so guys i don't think i'll be showing us how to make this sleeve and i'll make another video on how to make this sleeve. i don't want the video to be too long so i'll take one of the sleeves i will join them together here so i will attach it from here take it to this side use half inch to join them together i will take this side also to this side and use half inch to join them together so guys this is the finished look of the dress this is the sleeve i've attached to the dress so this is the lower part this is the back so that's it for today thank you so much guys for watching Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.